particularly our esteemed members of the media who have joined us here today, taking out their precious time. Thank you very much. But we promise you that today shall be historic. Today, you shall witness another history being created today. We at Suzuki Motorcycle continue our growth trajectory in double digits. We always remain committed to offer great products, products that are packed to the brim. We always keep outdoing our past. We have an endeavor to enhance our product portfolio continuously. So we are thrilled shall be an understatement to state today because today what we unveil to you is going to create a new benchmark in the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let me request you to help me in welcoming on stage Mr. Devashish Handasan, Vice President of Suzuki Motorcycle India to take the dais and take you to the performance of Suzuki Motorcycle India. Welcome. A very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, friends from the media. Over the next 15 minutes, I would like to take you through the performance that we have we have accomplished in the last financial year and what we plan to do over, over this year, current year, in which we have just stepped in. And I would also touch upon what, briefly, on what has gone behind the kind of performance that has been spoken about in the industry for a while about Suzuki. So this is how the industry performed. We had about 5% growth in 1819. As most of you would know, as industry watchers, that the industry uh, demonstrated a very robust growth two-digit growth uh, till about the first half or the beginning of the second half and since December we have been experiencing a downturn. Cumulative, the industry grew, grew at about 5%. While the CAGR has been about 8.5% and we are optimistic and we are pretty hopeful that the government going forward with the new government being formed now should take very corrective measures in terms of money supply and we expect the CAGR to be reflected again in the growth that is posted in 1920. So we remain uh, optimistic. However, in the downturn, this is one very peculiar trend that we have seen. The commuter motorcycle, which is less than 150cc, I have shown here, you would see has been continuously over time. And 150cc and scooters is a category, there is a high level of interplay here and as disposable incomes go up, people aspire to move up the channel and that has been the trend so far. It is just in 1819 that this trend has marginally reversed with the money supply improving and the economic situation reverting to post-1819 situation, we expect this trend to get corrected again the way it has been over the last few years. Coming specifically to SMIPL, Suzuki in India experienced 33.4% growth in its domestic volumes as against an industry which grew jump on our motorcycle volumes as written here and we expect a 29% growth further. After sales, this is one area which has, we have worked very strongly on and has yielded us good dividends in terms of customer connect and customer confidence. We have about 50% of our volume coming by way of repeat sales now. And these are some reasons why. Our first peak execution, which is, the, which is a yardstick that is used to measure how efficient our spare part supplies are, is at 96% which is significantly higher than what the industry standards are. This is a measure 
which determines how well are we stocked up in terms of spare parts and how efficiently do we service each customer who comes to our dealerships. In terms of free service redemption, that is a measure of the confidence that the customer has in terms of the what percentage of customers come back to us for free services, for post-warranty jobs. We are far outstripping the industry. So this is something where we are outperforming the industry and this is where the differentiation lies. The differentiation is where the rubber meets the road, where actually the customer experiences the difference between us and the rest of the industry. Coming on to what went behind the kind of growth and start, I start with the first P, the product. Last year saw Suzuki India introduce GSX 750, the V Strong 650, and the Bergman Street. We will continue, like today, we would continue to harness our product development capability, global capabilities to address the Indian market in terms of newer and newer products going forward. In terms of network expansion, we had last year, we grew our footprint by about 6% compared to the previous financial year. We had our total touch points going up from 635 to 676. This itself has given us 6% growth. The 34% growth I spoke about a while earlier, out of 36%, 6% came only out of, as a way, as a, as a product of the new, this kind of a net footprint expansion that we have had. It is not only in terms of quantity, but also in terms of quality that we worked and invested upon in our network. We have upgraded our look and feel. There are new corporate identity standards which have been implemented for better sales experience. And most significantly, motorcycle zones are being put up within our showrooms. A glimpse of it, you would be able to see outside this hall once we break after the business session here. We have put up for each of you to experience the kind of effort we are putting in to, to highlight our renewed emphasis on motorcycles. It, is, it was not just footprint, we have invested heavily on competence at our dealerships. In the month of December, we introduced what we call the STAR app, which is an app-based training module which can be readily at any point in time accessed by our dealership sales executives for continual learning. It is a combination of interactive modules and quizzes. And this is a program which we rolled out in December and already in a brief period of four months, we have more than 91% of our sales executives at the dealership enrolled in this program. In terms of ATL, a lot of work was done in the media and a much, much recalled Kam Pita Hai campaign, most of you would remember, had a huge recall and has helped us consolidate our position in the scooter market with excess becoming the number three brand in the country. We also launched the Bergman Street with the special one campaign and which redefined what is called the premium scooter in India. And we were present in the minds of the customers in each festivity, each celebration that we experienced in the last financial year. In terms of BTL, we had large scale activations to engage with our buyers. One of, a few of them, some glimpses are here. The Suzuki Jigsaw Cup we had last year with 24 riders. We will continue to scale this up this year and beyond. And we also introduced on our cruiser, the intruder, the Suzuki Brotherhood Intruder Club. Further, some more activations. We have large scale customer contact programs. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of emphasis is given on engaging and re-engaging with our customers. So we have had uh, 16 mega camps across the country. We have initiated a major step in CSR, under CSR, where we engage with the city administration and the police administration 
and the traffic administration to generate awareness of safe driving. We piloted this in 10 cities and in this year our endeavor would be to take it to each city where we are represented. Again, on after sales, we have touch base with about 1.2 lakh customers in, by way of uh, service camps. Another great initiative that we do is private workshop operators meet. In our country, in our product category, there is a large tendency of getting a vehicle ser service outside the authorized network. There is a very strong and legitimate customer need that this network is equipped with in terms of know-how of what our product and its repair schedules are and that is a big, big step that we take and we will continue to take going forward. And finally, this is how we appear to the industry and to the outside world at large. Over the last four years, we have consistently grown. This year, we have put a sales budget of 9,70,000, out of which about 1.1 should come from exports, and 8.6 we expect to come from domestic market. And as we go in that direction, I would like this opportunity to thank you again and solicit your continued support as we make Suzuki in India progress a way of life. Thank you very much. Thank you, Handa San, for sharing the growth history of uh, Suzuki Motorcycle India. Ladies and gentlemen, let me now take the honor of welcoming on stage Koichiro Hirao-san, the company head for Suzuki Motorcycle India, to share a few words with us, and we welcome him to India as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Hirao-san. Good morning, everyone. And uh, I thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend this meeting. My name is Koichiro Hirao. In this April, I was assigned the responsibility of Suzuki Motorcycle India as a company head. Around the same time, an in-house motorcycle company was established at Suzuki Motor Corporation. Also, on May 1st, the new emperor of the royal family acceded the throne of Japan. The era Heisei ended, and the new era Reiwa came into existence. Reiwa did not spring and renewal with the, that everyone's hopes should bloom. All this is very symbolic for me, and uh, in the midst of this change here, I'm feeling very, very exciting to meet you all today and present to you the new product. In last physical media, SMIPL, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Let me first express my sincere gratitude toward your continuous contribution to promote our products. In last fiscal year, we made a new record of 6.7 lakh sales with 133% growth, while the total market remarked 21 million with 105 growth. So I thank you all again. At this junction, we have proved our method with the scooters such as Access 125 and Bagman Street in Indian market. In order to realize our mid-term target of 1 million units, we need to further strengthen our position as a motorcycle brand. 
I strongly believe that the addition of new motorcycle to our product portfolio today will surely contribute to this aim. We need your continuous support in successful introduction of these models. And we shall keep on expanding our sales network to be more accessible and keep enhancing the experience at the point of purchase. For this, SMIPL, we have launched a new motorcycle shopping shop concept named Suzuki Premium. You can see outside of this hall. The concept is created to match the style of the uh, spirited riders. Lastly, we are committed to create wow moments for our customers. And for this, I seek your continuous support and patronage. I'm sure we can together make the right ahead a very exciting one. So thank you very much, Tanya Ward. Thank you very much, Rao san That was definitely reinforcing the Suzuki heritage here. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to invite on stage Satoshi Uchida-san, Managing Officer in charge of the Overseas Marketing Motorcycle Company at Suzuki Motor Corporation to join us on the stage and walk us through his journey in India. Welcome. Good morning, and a very warm welcome to all of you present here. I'm thankful to everyone for taking our time to join us today. I would like to share a news with you all. In April 2019, I was appointed as managing officer in charge of overseas marketing motorcycle company at Suzuki Motor Corporation in Japan. Hence, I would have to head back to Japan to take on the new responsibilities. But I'm also happy to inform you that I will still continue to be in charge of India market. Today, as I look back, I feel my journey with Suzuki Motorcycle India has been extremely profiling. I came to India in the year 2016 with uh, new dreams, different value, and of course, tough responsibilities. These three years have been wonderful for me as I have seen SMIPL achieve double-digit growth year after year. And trust me, it wouldn't have been possible at all without your contribution. I am more than excited to see such enthusiasm and momentum for the same. It's a matter of contentment to be a part of this and witness the growth of the brand over these three years. And for that, I'm thankful to each one of you for supporting this vision. As per the recent changes, the global Suzuki two-wheel business will now operate as a distinct motorcycle company under the, the umbrella of Suzuki Motor Corporation. This will further simplify and align the process of First decision making. The initiation of the new company came to us with the first good news as Suzuki won the MotoGP in Texas of United States of America. Uh, followed by the most important one, especially for Indian market, 
is today's launch, which will mark the start of a new era in the motorcycle history of India. These are exciting times for SMI peer, and I'm happy to share it with you all. I promise to keep visiting India and be in touch with you all, and I assure you that I will bring in many raw products to the market. As always, Suzuki Motorcycle India look forward to your continued love, support, and trust. Thank you very much. Thanks again. Thank you, Chida-san. Thank you very much uh, for your continuous dedication. And on behalf of Suzuki Motorcycle India, I would also like to further thank you for taking the business to new heights and all the best for your future prospects. On this optimistic note, ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome on stage Masahiro Nishikawa-san, General Manager in charge of Engineering Motorcycle Company at Suzuki Motor Corporation to join us and share his thoughts at this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nishikawa Sahar. Uh, good morning to all the media friends present here today. My name is Masahiro Nishikawa and uh, I am a general manager of the motorcycle company at uh, Suzuki Motor Corporation in charge of engineering head. Uh, last year, I visited India in February uh, for Delhi Auto Expo to introduce Banman Street and uh, GSX S750. I remember that you were excited. I'm sure that you will share my excitement for this product. Our engineering and uh, development teams at uh, Suzuki Motor Corporation have created these products with their full energy and passion. A completely new 250cc engine with Suzuki oil cooling system technology named SOCS has been developed. This technology makes the engine lightweight and uh, first to offer the best matching performance to Indian law. Latest European style design is fully adopted. Newly rigid frame with increased thickness and uh, utilizing lightweight material. Optimized rigid parts has been developed to achieve easy ride chassis with natural feel. I can assure you that this product will provide you with many kind of riding experience. As we continue to expand our product portfolio, Suzuki's commitment to develop value-packed products of superior quality remains as strong as ever. Uh, being true to our such promise, the new product has been built to meet all the global quality standards. Since Suzuki's foundation has been quality and comfort. Therefore, it becomes a clear customer's expectation as well. 
And uh, we uh, very much intend and uh, do our best to offer the same to them. I welcome all of you to experience the product to know what it is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nishigawa-san. You set the tone uh, for the much-awaited moment. It's all ready, it's all set. But before that, we would like to very quickly showcase to you the Suzuki motorcycle rich lineage to a short film. Then we have the film, please. If you want to get ahead, gear up. And geared up, Suzuki Motor Corporation has been since its inception more than a hundred years ago in Hamamatsu. Creators of legendary road drama. Suzuki Motor Corporation is known to revolutionize the world of biking with its path-breaking innovation. A new chapter got added to their success story when they entered into the Indian market with Suzuki Motorcycle India Private Limited, carrying their philosophy of delivering value-packed products along. The reflection of which can be seen in each two-wheeler born at the manufacturing facility in Gurgaon. In terms of sales, Suzuki Motorcycle India Private Limited has been rising to newer heights every year. 2014 witnessed the launch of Jigsaw. It was targeted at India's youth craving for a powerful machine that it could afford. The following year, Jigsaw SS made its debut, which was inspired by MotoGP racing. Jigsaw Cup also got flagged off in 2015. Then came 2016 and brought with itself Jigsaw's rare disc brake model. And this made the year even more special. All this laid the foundation of the currently 130,000 plus strong hashtag and Jigsaw community. The highlight of 2017 was the launch of Jigsaw SS with FI and ABS. Jigsaw ABS broke into the scene in 2018. From the road to sport ground, Jigsaw was everywhere. The Jigsaw series has come a long way since its launch in 2014. But Suzuki is not about living the past, it's about redefining the future. So, brace yourself as we unveil the next big thing. From the house of Hayabusa and GSXR comes the latest from a lineage of legends. Thank you. What's a man? What a mammoth lean is there, ladies and gentlemen. And now the moment that we've all been waiting for, the moment when we get ready to unveil, ladies and gentlemen, to do the honors, let me welcome on stage Koichiyo Hirao-san. Let's have a round of applause while I welcome them onto the stage, please. Satoshi Uchida-san, Masahiro Nishikawa-san, Devashish Handa-san, and Tetsuji Nojiri-san to join us on the stage.
like to present to you, ladies and gentlemen, now the moment. The new, the latest, the incredible, the thrilling, the mesmerizing, the powerful, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the latest and the most sporty sister and Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you to the members of the media. There is a little more that we have to offer to you. We will have to. We have to. We will have to. Yeah. So for the electronic media, we will have uh, a message once again later, please. Thank you. Thank you to the print media. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. There's more action that's lined up a few more minutes, ladies and gentlemen, before we move on. So we are sure that you liked our incredible products here while they stay on the stage. We would also like to give you a quick glimpse 
of something more that's coming away because this is not the only thing there is a revival on the media television campaign as well so ladies and gentlemen we would like to take a moment to showcase for the first time the new television campaign that is there for the jigsaw sf series could you please have the tvc film new TVC and we are sure that you have a lot of questions uh, we will have the panel coming and joining us in a short while but before that we like to showcase a short product film that will surely answer a lot of your curiosity can we have the product film please stylish and compact fully digital speedometer that has everything you need on one console. The breathtaking muffler with its end cap design is a piece of art in itself. Brushed finish alloy wheels add grace to the motorcycle and the fancy hugger covers the rear tires gracefully. Suzuki Easy Start system brings alive the bike in one touch. And now, coming to the most vital part. Presenting the newly developed Jigsaw SF250 engine. The world's first oil-cooled motorcycle engine was developed by Suzuki. And through continued development of this quite unique technology, Suzuki channeled all of its technology for creating smaller, lighter engines, as well as the state-of-the-art technologies cultivated through MotoGP to further evolve this engine. State-of-the-art technology is used in Suzuki Drive, the oil cooling system to achieve a major leap forward. Separate flow lines are used for lubrication and cooling, and the system of cooling by DOS is changed to a cooling system covering a wider area. In particular, a new cooling oil flow line is added near the combustion chamber to allow faster cooling over a wide area. Moreover, a boundary layer breaker on the inside and outside of the oil jacket which is newly adopted has improved the heat transfer rate. These enable controlling of the engine temperature so that it is maintained at the optimal temperature for combustion efficiency. As a result, it reduces the frequency of thermal expansion of the metal, improving engine durability. Maintenance is easy too, because it requires no cooling water. It also has four valves, rarely being an SOAC engine, realizing high resolution and high output similar to a DOAC engine. 
compared to a DO8P engine that requires the moving of two camshafts, the FO8P engine is simple in structure, lightweight and compact. Shim-type roller rocker arms, retainers and a piston that have been made using technology derived from MotoGP. State-of-the-art technologies have realized a lighter engine with less friction loss. The overall engine has evolved greatly. Furthermore, printed surface treatment of the piston skirt area has reduced the friction loss in the piston itself. This has contributed to increased output and better fuel efficiency. Cooper grip treatment on the cylinder has improved heat transfer performance, cooling performance and durability. The use of these numerous state-of-the-art technologies has increased the power output and torque of the new engine throughout the entire range of speed. This ensures stress-free performance from low to mid-range up to high range speeds, while also achieving low fuel consumption and higher engine durability. Lighter engines with higher output and lower fuel consumption were developed by using the latest oil cooling system combined with MotoGP technology. Installed with a newly developed 250 cubic centimeter oil-cooled SOHC 4 valve engine. It's the birth of the brand new Schickter SS250. Moving on to the 6-speed gearbox that ensures a smooth ride even at higher speeds. Crafted from a lightweight material, the sturdy chassis enhances riding performance and lays the foundation of the motorcycle's sporty look. Stiffer suspension lends Suzuki Chicksa SF250 excellent stability and offers the rider a smooth riding experience. Newly developed clip-on handlebars allow the rider to assume a sportier riding position. Compact dual-channel ABS system gives the rider the confidence to tackle every hurdle on the way. Sporty split seats ensure maximum comfort for both the rider and the pillion. Wider tires allow the motorcycle to forge a strong bond with the road. With a range of exciting accessories to choose from, Jixa SS250 is definitely a head-turner. Get ready to be amazed! Presenting Jixa SF250 We are sure that this video answered a lot of your questions, but there's one vital question that's on everyone's mind still not being answered. The price. Let's have that answered as well. I'm going to invite on stage to answer all your questions once again our entire panel to begin with the Koichiro Hirao-san. Welcome. Satoshi Uchida-san. Masahiro Nishikawa-san. Devashish Handa-san, Tetsuji Nojiri-san and Kenji Hirodawa-san to join us to answer your questions, starting with uh, Handa-san to disclose the price of the products. Welcome in. Uh, the most, in fact, uh, important moment of the day. Excuse me. It gives, gives me great pleasure to announce that the the beauties we just unveiled and you saw the Jixer 250 SF would be priced at 17655 X showroom Delhi, and the Jixer 150 SF a shade above 109. 800 X showroom Delhi.
So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, an incredible pricing indeed. Let's have a round of applause for that. Come on, let's hear it for that, ladies and gentlemen. And now we'd like to open the house for uh, question answers to our, uh, to our panel here. And uh, we will, if you have a question, please raise your hand. Somebody will walk up to you with a mic. Yes, could we have, do we have a mic or something going there? Yes, no, no, there's somebody, right. So please kindly introduce yourself before you ask the question. Vinish Sharma from uh, Auto Express. My basic question is that, are these bikes, you know, uh, I mean, emission, I mean, as far as emission technology is concerned, BS6 enabled, you know, and how do you transition that, you know, your older mo models regarding that BS6 emission norm that are coming up, and uh, regarding the safety feature like ABS and all, are they enabled with that? How much technically proficient? Thank you for your question. And uh, our Ajixa 250 currently is uh, BS4. And also we are preparing for BS6. So this time launch a BS4 version first. And uh, also we have ABS. All right, thank you. We hope that answers your question. The gentleman on the extreme right, please. Sir, so, wahan pe mic le jaiye, please. Uh, hi, this is Chanchal from BTVI. Just want to understand uh, what kind of sales are you looking at in terms of you gave me the presentation. Uh, India is world's largest two-wheeler market and you have been here for quite long. You haven't touched a million sales unit. There was a decline few years back that was pretty long, protected slowdown in Suzuki. Can you get an idea when you are planning to touch a million sales in domestic market? And second update, you had a plant, uh, land being allocated by Haryana government for a second plant in Rotha. Can you give us an update when you are planning to put up a second plant? Can you, can you please repeat? I mean, it was not very clear. Can you please repeat it a little slowly? Okay. Just wanted to understand when you plan to touch a million sales in India. And second, for your land in Rotak, when do you plan to expand into second plant? As we explained our planning uh, this year, this fiscal year, our target is domestic 860,000 unit, and also export 110,000 unit, all together uh, 970,000 unit this year target. And uh, our production capacity is now, uh, now we are trying to increase our production capacity also. So maybe this year or next year, we have a production capacity uh, over one million units. And uh, of course, in future, uh, we need uh, another second factory. So now we are doing a feasibility study and the location also. So today, unfortunately, I cannot uh, explain detail. So, of course, we need a second factory and uh, now we are preparing. So, thank you. All right, thank you. Next question, please. Any more questions? All right, thank you. So, I think that's uh, what we have for, do we? Yeah, okay, we have a question here. Can we have the mic here, please? Hello, I'm uh, Karthik from Zigwheels. I just wanted to understand uh, the SF250, will it also 
be exported from India? Any other markets that you're looking at for this? Uh, to, to begin with, we will introduce in India. And of course, at a later date, that is very much on plan. But we would like to restrict our initial uh, phase of business to India. And as things go along, we would introduce eventually. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that answers the question there. And do we have any more last questions? Okay, in the center, please. So there's your mic. Hello, uh, Sunil from XBHP. I just wanted to know, is there a, a naked variant or a street variant of the 250cc plant as well? surely be uh, naked. It is uh, some time away. We would like to first introduce the SF and the naked would very much be there. Uh, in a few months from now, uh, difficult to say the precise timeline, but it will surely be there. So another question at the back. Piche bhaiya, piche. Yeah. So this should be the last question. Go ahead, sir. Um, I wanted to understand uh, why are the new models right now here? Uh, is the 150 BS6 uh, and the 250 is BS4 as you said? Um, will the Jigsaw naked that will come will come as a BS6? Uh, everything would be BS4 and would be upgraded to BS6 when the time comes. So by the time the government deadline of first April is there, we would be more than ready, much before the timeline with the BS6 variants. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. That's all the time we had for the questions so far, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll have our panels now on the stage. Thank you very much for joining us. We will now invite uh, the television uh, media to kindly step forward on the stage for individual bites and pictures. That's all that we had uh, for everybody else. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.
Thank you. 